Kalimera, good morning in Greek. I'm right now in the ancient Agora of Athens, in the central capital city of Greece. And right now, I'm going to show you the Stoa of Atolos. Hi guys, my name is Peace and I'm traveling around the world, so let's peace out and go. All right, let me just give you briefly a little of the history here. The King Atolos II of Pergamon, which was studying in Athens back in the time, back in that period, between the 138 and 159 BC, he wanted to give something to the Athenians back as a token of appreciation. And that's why he built this magnificent and huge structure, which is called the Stoa of Atolos, named after King Atolos. Well, that building was built as a two-story market, actually, uh, back in those days. And uh, we can really appreciate and see uh, how it looked like back then and the type of uh, material which was built, of course, by uh, marble. As I told you already in previous videos that I made here in Athens, that all the rocks and all the stones around Greece are all marble. The best marble to find is the pure white one. And this is usually which uh, they used to build these uh, temples and s magnificent structures that you see around here. So let me go in there and uh, show you the Stoa of Atolos. Alrighty, as you can see it right from here with all the pillars. This is that building, as you can see it has two stories, one above, one right here. Uh, we are actually entering kind of the, the museum of the Agora ancient Greek and uh, let's see what we can see here. I guess this is part of a monument which uh, fell down and that's part of an ancient pillar as you can see. Let's actually read out what it says. Iconic column capital with uh, traces of painted decoration, 5th century BC. So this was, I guess, uh, the entrance to the Stoa Atolos market. And this is the museum shop. And you can see the uh, statues that were left here, ruins of the statues. What a magnificent structure right here. That's also a head part of a uh, statue, I guess. Head of goddess, probably Artemis, 440-420 BC. All right, should we go in there? 300 jar canopy decorations, late 15th century BC. It's an entire room full of uh, ancient pottery and jars from the early millenniums, I guess. You can only imagine how this place used to uh, be back in the time, thousands of years ago, uh, when it was an official market here. And people used to bring here probably uh, all the kinds of, uh, like fresh livestock, and who knows what else, fruits, vegetables, and everything else that was maintaining their existence, right? All right, from here, uh, we will explore a little bit the outside right here. Well, the Stoa Atolos is right next to the Acropolis, not far away. You can see the Acropolis from there. On top of the hill, right here, was also, as I understood, a continuation of the market of the Stoa Atolos. Although, in this area, back in the time between the first and the second millennium, it was a place of burial for uh, special uh, figures of Greece. Uh, I can assume that these stones that you see here are probably some uh, graveyards. Alrighty, right up there where I'm heading right now, as you can see, on top of the hill is the Temple of Ares. The Temple of Ares was a sanctuary dedicated to Ares. Who was Ares? Ares was the god of courage and war of the ancient Greeks. And this temple was dedicated to him, built in the area of the ancient Agora of Athens. Pardon me for the distraction. If you enjoy this content, please hit the like button. Thank you. 
and I can already hear in the background traditional Greek music on my way to the Temple of Ares, the god of courage and war. <laughs> Central Athens is, with no doubt, a very charming city, full of life and love, which makes the atmosphere really cool and with good vibes. All right, so here's the Temple of Ares. There we go. All right, guys, I owe you an apology. I'll tell you why, because I had a little mistake, which is kind of a huge mistake, my bad. This temple is not the Temple of Ares. This temple is the Temple of Hephaestus. And Hephaestus was the god of the blacksmith, the carpenters, the craftsmen, and the other handyman, handy working man. This is actually the best preserved temple of ancient Greek all around uh, Athens. So this is the uh, actual temple, the actual building as it used to be back of many thousands of years ago. And it's quite a magnificent structure. And as uh, you can imagine, the same as with all other and different temples around Greece and Athens, this temple was built in the honor of the god Hephaestus, which, as I said before, was the god who brought blessings to the uh, hardworking people of Greece back in the time. As you can see here, some of the stones have already moved, moved out. It is with no doubt a magnificent building. And the most amazing thing is to see it, to see that kind of building described to be the best preserved of its kind. And as I'm turning around, you can see again the view of the Acropolis right up there. And in front of us is the Stoa of Atolos, which I was there just a couple of minutes ago, that beautiful market, the ancient market. This entire area was all the ancient Agora of Athens. Happens to be that I wasn't that wrong as you thought. Well, that temple of Ares, when I went to the Hephaestus temple, used to be right behind it. But it doesn't exist anymore these days. So at least you ended up seeing that Hephaestus uh, temple, which still exists today, and it's preserved the way it was back then. But the Temple of Ares, I guess, as many other temples around here, doesn't exist any longer. Okay, from here we will continue to explore more ancient areas of the city of Athens. And here you can see the Stoa of Atollo right there from the outside. And this entire area is the ancient Agora of Athens. And on the other side are all the restaurants and bars and coffee houses. We have many places here that you can choose to eat and drink. So you better come and enjoy yourself right here if you want to visit. If you have made it to this part of the video, I'm pretty sure you have enjoyed it, didn't you? So let me recommend that you watch this one next. But before you do that, I'll really appreciate if you leave a big like and also subscribe if you want to enjoy more videos just like this. Peace.